the whole thing comes crashing down. Right? <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. It's just the two of us <laughs> this time. Uh, my phone. We're recording on my, my phone right now because uh, we're doing a separate video. And right now it is on a music stand that is up above the laptop we're watching from. Sirs and sirs, coming so at you with, sirs a and sirs. with a janky ass setup. Like a day or two after <laughs> National Redhead Day, so we got the two. Oh, it's time, yes. 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 So, we are Just back, waiting. volume seven, chapter one. And I am the one that's behind the loop. You are. It's time to catch me up. We are two days from episode two, so we're going to go ahead and watch uh, episode one. There's so much hype. Um, as always, I guess... Uh, Comment, subscribe, uh, follow our Patreon. If like, you'd like, subscribe, exactly. Like, hit the bell, subscribe, follow our Patreon. All the things. Da, 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 da. Um, if you like our content, uh, because we love putting it out and hearing response from y'all. Exactly. So we're going to do, the two of us are going to do just like we did with the other group. We're going to watch it first, just do a reaction, and then we will do, there will be a second video of us uh, reviewing it as well. So there will be, we're trying to split it up a little bit. So you. And we're not doing anything special with the opening. So we're just taking it all in like we normally yes. do yep. because it's new for everyone. Yep, yep. The uh, the opening is at the end of the video. So Ooh, the, oh, because there's that's kind of there anime. is a spoiler, huge spoiler in the opening number that if you see it before the episode ruins the first episode. That's fair. So <laughs> but it's also very anime style. Oh, a lot very of, much so. A lot of times so we'll put it at the end. With that that being said, we are going to start Good. and now. Mm. Psych. Like, <laughs> I did the struggling do. Wrong season. <laughs> I know. Welcome home. Right. I can imagine all of the Death Star jokes that were made right here by Sterling. And no, actually, else. they didn't. I don't think they made any what? Death Star. No Imperial March jokes? Not it's that. so easy. I think they made more Half Life jokes. Oh boy. I have not Welcome seen. Home. What the other reactors have Please continue seen. your approach Correct. to Atlas Docking Bay Omega 12. So I am blind blind. A security team will meet you there. Over. I don't understand. What's happening here? I don't know. But we are here. We got the lamp to Atlas. Never heard of paranoid so politics? I guess we land and get some answers. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I've never seen our forces deployed so aggressively before. It's a war. If we land in a stolen ship, there's no way the security team will let us anywhere near Ironwood. They might even take me back to my father. Everything sucks so... again. Yep. <laughs> Winter. Yeah. Put some distance between us and the fleet. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm so glad her eyes aren't messing up right now of all times. Hmm. Here in Gotham. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I think that reference, big, was, big that reference was made. I think that reference was made. I was going to say, like, big Batman vibes. Many have described these as uncertain times. Mm. And while that may be the case for the rest of the world, Indeed. I can tell you what is certain. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of Atlas will remain strong, and it will remain safe. Jeez, with the giant ass fucking spotlights too. Like <laughs> General Ironwood. He looks tired. Doctor Who vibes anyone? What a mood. What have you been I'm doing? so tired. Right. James. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh Detroit, yeah, anyone? Yeah, it's terrible. None of this is right. Yeah. To make your way to Docky Bay Omega 12 immediately. Do you copy? Over. We're kind of running out of time here, kids. We need to ditch the ship. Agreed. Get lost in Mantle and buy ourselves some time. I'm telling you, my sister can take us to Ironwood. Uh, well, Mom is not picking up the phone. Ooh, look at that shot. Huh? Failure to cooperate with Atlas military personnel yeah. is a punishable no. offense. Uh, that. She's been swayed no or offense wise. I'm not sure that's a good idea anymore. There's obviously something very yeah. wrong. If we can just talk to her, then we Look, I'm not even sure we should be talking to Ironwood. 
until we know exactly what's going on with Mantle. Oh, this is the new voice actor, isn't down. it? He's doing good, right? Good I for know him. someone who can help with both. Manta 5-1, you are to make your... Jeez, lady, take a hint. Damn. Nobody expects the old lady. <laughs> I don't need this. Hide your main character clothing. Hurry. Wow, what a squad. Look at yeah. all these people. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten folks. Oh, who's the leader of the rebellion? There's always a rebellion. Come on now. And always hurry. a homeless it musician. Be too. Much of a walk. Is this many soldiers? Oh, wait. Okay. No. At least. Alright, so the first so. thing I think of when I see that mm -hmm. is the croc lady. With Miss uh, Tick or Talk or whatever yeah. whatever her name was. <laughs> Maybe we should pick up the pace. Fuck. Yeah. You have to remember, the kingdom had just lost the Great War. Oh, man. The people of Mantle needed a sign of a brighter future, and that sign was Atlas. There is no war After in all, Passing Set. A home in the oh. clouds is about as bright as it gets. Yeah. Uh, uh. Unless you're the one having to look up at it. Uh. This whole city, it just seems awful. Yeah. Good. You don't like it here? Oh, There's plenty of space out in the tundra. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alice is the greatest kingdom in the world. All right. Hey. We can't cause a scene. <laughs> the embargo, the embargo's got us in a rough patch, but it'll blow over. You'll see. We try and help the other kingdoms, and this is what happens? I say a lot of rat! I apologize. I didn't mean to insult you. Stupid finest like God, you. God, he's rich. Now it's your turn to die. It was worth it. Yes, it was. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Damn. Hey, wait! You're... That, that was wild! We are here for your safety. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't think she's in on it. Like, I don't I don't think Winter's cooperating on purpose. And no more heavy lifting, you hear? <laughs> oh. Yeah, sweet. Uh, oh. It's good to awesome. see you again, old friend. Oh. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Have we met? Uh, well, this is off to a fantastic start. Cybernetic optical implants? You adjust them every 10 years or so? Korea! Yes, oh, there the it is. <laughs> wow, <that's> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> oh, wow. Has it been that long already? Sterling is already not a fan of his character's voice. I Why? Because like it reminds him of his grandfather? I guess because it's, it's, run into these it's jokers. just one off. At the time, I thought they might need my guidance while fighting a little old sphinx. Oh, did they? No, no. They had much more complicated issues. <clears throat> he looks like straight and out of this Pokemon. Is... <sighs> so impatient. I didn't think I'd need to introduce one of Atlas's finest minds. Working oh, it's Gran in a Torino. place like this? He likes to keep a low profile. Something it's I've Gran come Torino. to realize none of you know anything about. You can call me Pietro. Finest heart, no. too. This pharmacy is just where he volunteers when he's not building the future of Atlas alongside Ironwood up in the clouds. Oh, it's stuffy up there. Down here, I get to help the locals and have a little fun. I'm uh, currently working on shoes that make you dance. Uh, you want to try them on? Yes! Ha! Before we get to that, we were wondering if you could help us. We came to Atlas hoping to talk with General Ironwood, but um, what exactly has been happening here? In the time before time. Uh, the fall of Beacon took a toll on all of us. James was no different. I couldn't tell you exactly what it was he saw there, but it changed him. Mm. He's 
He's scared. Paranoid. Paranoid would be mm, the more Look at you. <laughs> you have to understand. It wasn't just the grim. Someone completely dismantled Atlas security code, mm. made it their plaything, and made us look like traitors to some and buffoons to everyone else. Whoever managed to do that is either a genius or one of our own. I have a theory about the this man already. Both. And so does the general. Hmm. I could be wrong, but what if he's the one who Maybe built Penny? Maybe Atlas isn't as safe as we thought. Call After him now, we came all this way, case. we can't just leave, can we? How does the council feel about all of this? Or Winter Schnee? Do you know anything about her? Well, the council's so scared they'll agree to whatever he wants. Though some representatives from Mandalore. Wait, you're... Your, your wife Snee. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what was it that you were trying to say about Mantle? You painted it. Aww, what? nice. Is everything okay? You're Team Ruby. <laughs> you know us? Oh, my girl, I do. Oh, I most certainly do. What a voice. And I feel like such a dunce for not recognizing you sooner. My daughter's told me so much about you. Your daughter? Yeah, trouble. Wait! <laughs> daughter, daughter, who's his daughter? Ilya? Or Penny. It could be Penny. That would be adorable and not fair to bring her back. Much. <laughs> Somehow that isn't Wouldn't me. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like always, y'all are useless. Well, we didn't come this far to fail now. Did it, is that a new weapon? Is that a new color scheme? No, it's just darker color. That's because it's darker. Squad. This squad by squad. Oh. Boom. Let's go, yeah, up front. Damn. Yeah, they've been leveling up like crazy. Have they though? That was the tasty shot. Yeah. Gee, there we go. It's wait. about time. I'll just wait, just wait. It's about time. Let's fucking go! Yeah! Shit! Shit. Woo! Because all they've had is a plane ride. But I guess it's. It's starting to shift. Town. Oh yeah. Their technique is starting to get codified. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this teamwork! Fuck! Look at that teamwork! Give me that ninja shit! Let's go! Once again, the choreography and the art design are all amazing, just like always. They've definitely stepped it up. As they always do. There's that look on your Who's eyes. Who's got stop. the beam? I really want this to be Penny. Why am I getting the feeling? I hope, God, don't make me. Oh, that looks, that doesn't look human. Oh, that look, please, for the love of God, don't give me that false hope for everything in the world, I swear to God. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Why don't you say hello yes! to your friends? Say it! Wait for it. I know you wanted to say it. Sal? Oh, that's cute. You? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah, me I too. Well, I was going to say, dead. you could get we re I see, to I see. From Amity Arena. Once it made its way back to Atlas, she has long it hair. took me some time. She's so cute. I'm as good as new. Better even. And now I'm the official protector of the city. That's my girl. 
We're not going to let a little ripping. She's alive! <laughs> My redheads are still alive! <laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> strangely wholesome. Sounds like Penny to me. We have so many things to catch up about. I cannot wait. It seems we will have to wait. <laughs> Let's talk more later. I can't wait to hear about all your adventures. Oh my fucking god. Yes, if you kill her again, I swear to fuck. can't tell if I completely understand what's going on. I remember, it just gets transferred to a new robot. That's it's like Connor. I have about no. a thousand answers. But let's get out of this weather first. <laughs> Save it for the second video. I absolutely no idea who that child was. Is she important somehow? Yes! <laughs> Shut up! For a dull moment. But I wouldn't say unwelcome. I was honestly expecting things to go a lot. Oh, I saw the rocket boots and I was just like, please, <laughs> please. Ooh, this is my hero shit. In the space of. Woo! Ah, that's right. I was gonna say. It's the Rebel Alliance. Literally. Good work, team. Hey, what's going on? Hey, pal. Come on, Cyber. I'm a licensed huntsman. Just help save everyone? A horseshoe. What is going on? Not the lamp, not the lamp, fucking A. Hmm. Let's get them loaded into the next transport. Please! We were just trying to help! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what are the Aesops even doing down here in Map? Aesops? Doctor, Seal good to see you. Well, we heard a report of an unauthorized oh ship making an unauthorized landing, followed by an unauthorized use of weapons by non-licensed huntsmen. Mm. If we could just talk this out. They'll be able to talk this out once they get up to Atlas. Let's move out. Fuck. Well, damn. <laughs> now this... This is much closer to what I was expecting. End of episode one. That would be a good way to end it. Yeah. Ooh. Anime ass colors. I swear to God. <clears throat> keep dreaming about a better world. You keep pushing. Oh, I did Sterling was happy, wasn't he? Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. We loved good silhouettes. Look at that. Look We're at that. back, motherfuckers! Wait, 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 yes! Whoosh. It's so good! Cute. Oh, she cut her hair too! Yep. Not just her. I said two. Seal team. Watts! Yay! I'd love to see more Watts. And some Tyrions, that's right. Look at that regret in his face. Yeah, I knew we'd see these motherfuckers. Good, okay. Winter's definitely on the right side. Wow. See, there's the spoiler. Woo! <laughs> now watch this sequence with Jean. This will be Alec. Whoa! Look at that. You see that? Right oh, there? with boots! Yeah. This boy is cute as fuck. New character. Ooh, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Money controls everything. Why have a bigger dress? Is it like a knee or like a that ankle length, wife. an ankle length dress? Oh, no, oh, no, that oh, was oh, a new one. Yeah, yeah. She does. Look at that. Squad. Okay. Okay. I'll wait. All right. So we're just gonna let the credits roll like like we did last time. So don't don't talk Do too much right now. <laughs> oh, is there an but, after scene? Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, we'll go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and stop that. Okay. Oh, see, look at the character art. Mm. Yeah, when you said it, when you when you said it earlier, I was just like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> fuck. Well, I knew you wouldn't be able to answer, so I yeah, did I give a side to, glance. I was trying, not, like, to, I was I was trying like, not to look at you at all. That's the thing, because I looked at you and I said I I side looked at you because I looked here and then I was just like, am I gonna get it or not? <laughs> all right, and stop. Good job for hiding. You're welcome. All right, so that's the end of our reaction. We'll see you guys in the review video in a minute. <laughs> Bye. Bye. One eternity later. Okay. Fuck! Penny's back. Yeah! <laughs>
Yes. Uh, if we had a microphone, Bruce would. Hate oh, you. for sure. I don't care if you God. hate me or not. I, I I get that loud if I was with everybody else. I don't care. I know. <laughs> so, so Penny's back with an upgrade. If you kill her, and this is what I'm saying, I don't care. You can like we established that you could bring her back. But there's definitely a way you could kill her for good and never bring her back. That is true. If she is smashed, if she is like if the core is destroyed, incinerated, if the core is gone, if you bring her back just to kill her or do some fucking <laughs> like majestic self-sacrificing shit. I think that is the exact reaction that everyone on our Discord and on our comments... Not okay! They've all been like, Matthew has to see this! Alright, I can see why. Yeah, I can Yeah, I can see where everyone in the Discord was just like, Matthew, watch it. Fuck. And now you have. Okay, so, but like, alright, but let me just close this out. Um, one of Penny's concerns back in, like, Season 2... Well, it wasn't, like, a concern, but it's it's worth noting that, like, Penny was OP. Mm -hmm. In relation to everybody else's growth points, Penny was very overpowered and could be that whole one-man, like, the whole one-man self-sufficient team. True. In a, in, not unlike um, Pyrrha. Pyrrha was also, like, a step or three above everybody else when she was rolling out, I think. Uh, yeah, she was, Here, yeah, no, her, she was, her skill she was, was above. She was a cap or two above everybody else, which was fine. Um, it served the story. But if you notice, people like that start dying. Like, Vernal. Oh, yeah. Out. Penny. Out. Pyrrha. Out. If they take, they allow, they allow the overpowered people to have, like, exorbitant, uh, ex plenty of screen time, but they make sure to make it finite. I'm if terrified in, the, about if that. in these next two to three episodes we get like a huge like power level of like seeing where Penny is and if she's above everybody else, I am immediately terrified. Because if they are setting her up to be like a save all or a crutch or like, not a crutch, but like a resource, they're going to kill her. I think they're going to kill her and I'm fucking scared. <sighs> Alright. So now the rest of the episode. <laughs> So how about... Now I want to talk about her design first. I love that she has long red hair. That makes me so fucking happy. You know the power symbol in her I little I did see the power stuff. symbol. Um, the pink bow on Old Man Rivers... Pietro. Uh, fucking <laughs> Old Man River. Um, Pietro. Pietro's thing is nice, but I actually didn't catch it. Um, ne neither did we at first. I But that's... I don't look for color coordination specifically. One, because I'm colorblind, and I'll be quite honest, while I can tell what all the colors are oh, it's not true. as fast as everybody else that's true. and color symbolism doesn't hit me as quickly what, as what, what is your color bias again I red green red the, green the, okay. i could go into but it, it but it affects hues of different other, of other it, things too it affects it affects almost every color with whatever i have because i have some i don't know it's not important but i see each color a little bit off and so i have to mentally reorganize it but the point yeah, is yeah. i didn't catch it it looked like nora's color and i keep forgetting that that shade of pink is also related to penny Mm. Um, I love how she came in. I love the rocket boots. I was pretty damn sure when I saw the rocket boots. I'm just like, humans don't have those. Then I got the silhouette, and it was super plucky, and I was just like, all right, we're two for two. Then it happened. And then you got your salutations. But, like, an upgraded salutations with an upgraded penny. I thought that was fun. I was, it was campy as all hell, and I was okay with it. Oh, yeah. That. I would have loved just, They were just, like, like a, a super Disney, super Disney, like, super. the silhouette, the, the pirouette yeah. in front of the moon, just like, oh, it's Disney, I loved in a good way. Because the budget has been raised so much to where, like, the smoothness of the face, and uh, you actually get, like, shine in the eyes. Like, uh, oh, it's yeah. much more human to visualize, and seeing the joyous face of Penny through these upgraded Oh, yeah, because last time we saw her was on, like, the Volume 3, like, the, the, uh, the sort of first round of graphics. Yeah, so. 2 and 3, which was, yeah. as everybody knows, much jankier, which is fine. Oh. They had a very tiny budget, and they did good Com things Yeah, compared it. to what they have now, it is so much smoother. Anywho. Yes, and let's that that's the easiest segue. As always, it is fucking beautiful. Like the, So the color palette itself, uh, we, get this, you know, we get this beautiful, like, set of dark blue... Uh, shades of blue, black, and gray to, to welcome Atlas in. Then we get a color shift to like browns and greens and, greens and a bit of reds for mantle. So there's already beautiful uh, color switching there. And this is everybody's more polished. Um, I keep saying that, but uh, 
tangibly when I when I mean polish when I mean I, I everyone can see it but trying to describe it it's there's a little bit more like uh, the outlines on characters are they're more synchronized with the background like um, nothing's the if if you were to take it as a tableau or a two D painting everything is much smoother the colors work with each other better there's there's shininess That's on true. the people. There's like it's it's a lot of light physics, <clears throat> like when they were in a foreground background kind of difference. Yeah, but also like when they were standing in the ship and there was like light from an overhead light shining down on um, Blake's black hair, oh, and it yeah. creates that little like half uh, yeah. silhouette of light. That's just that normally happens in life, and it's the tiny details like that that I pick up on. Where I'm just like, I like that. That's <clears throat> it's many would consider it unnecessary because it's animation, and it, don't get me wrong, like. You don't always need the light polish, but when you have it, it's so nice. Um, All right, so let's go to plot. <laughs> All right, so Lordy, Ironwood and Winter with their so I do, hello messages everywhere. I knew Ironwood would be paranoid as fuck. All right, there are so many tropes with Mantle and Atlas that I so I've seen it in Detroit. It's in Alita. It's in like this. Uh, it's in Ba Sing Se, mm -hmm. uh, in Avatar. Um, where, like, you have the suppressed citizens and the upper crust, um, which is fine. It's, I, I am not complaining about, uh, the reuse of these tropes, but, uh, and part, the fun and the fear that comes with it is following those tropes down the line, mm -hmm. imagining how far they're going to take what's typical and what's been done before. And how, like how much they'll lead on the viewer and then either switch it up or put a twist on it. That's true. Going down this line of tropes where, you know, we have like a repressed society. Uh, there's always a rebellion. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's, you know, we're going to we're going to meet the rebel forces. Um, I've got a feeling that new character, the dark skinned woman with blonde or yellowish mm -hmm. hair. Yeah. My first guess is that that person plays into whoever the rebellion is if it exists yeah uh hill i think or something we saw her name on a oh we did on a, there's someone was sticking a, a a poster flyer on a oh. light post and it said hill and then there was the, the the quick view over to the election whatever i did see that I, yeah. I didn't see the name but it looked like something rebel related yeah so uh it'll be interesting to see like how much if at all we play into a an internal fighting faction that's not oh, absolutely that's not the grim because that turns it into like a three prong and issue. not not the faunus or, well maybe not specifically the faunus but some sort of class warfare we knew yeah we definitely all knew that uh like <laughs> interesting the racism is not going to huh. end yeah like no. uh haven was a great um it was it was a great stepping stone but uh, oh, yeah, when true. we were discussing at the end of Volume Six, we were de like one of our main points was that um, you know the the classist, the racist issues will be probably have another major role to play. So. Oh yeah, especially in Atlas <clears throat> and Mantle, since they're literally right. You yeah, know, just one and city is physically above the other one. And there's probably so much money, and so like I'm interested yeah. to see. I'm interested to see how much time is spent on each city. Mm. Um, because well, they're, they're about to go up to Atlas. They're about to go Mantle, up to Atlas. So we'll finally get to see that. So, well, like then that takes my mind to like, is if they're going to get like thrown into prison, is the prison on Mantle or is it on Atlas? It's mm. so worth thinking about. I don't think they're going to get thrown in. Well, they might get thrown in prison at first, but well, I don't think they're going to stay there. Like, no, the point, I think it would be up in Atlas though. But that's the point. Is um like maybe is the team going to get split up? Are they going to get split up by city? Um, is everyone going to be in the same place? Are we going to have, like, the first half of the season in Atlas and then drop down the mantle? Hmm. Um, Maria didn't get taken. Correct. So she's still, she and Pietro are still okay. So that's at least one character. And oh, we'll, I know, they didn't take, they didn't take Maria. They didn't take Maria. She's okay. Did y'all not we, talk about that? Was she not in the truck with the rest of them? I'm not sure. Well, I mean, Pietro wasn't taken, right? No, he wasn't. So you remember when Pietro was like, can't we all talk this out? Maria turned tail and started walking backwards. Oh, uh, yeah. I think. I could right? be wrong. Y'all, the comments will let me yeah, know. Yeah, we'll go back and rewatch it, The too. comments will let me know. But if my memory serves, uh, Maria wasn't taken. And so that immediately, now we have two sets of minds. 
yeah one on each country that's true city um i definitely knew we were going to be seeing more of the schnee family especially from papa and shit yeah so i like i theorized back in the end of season six it's we're gonna we're gonna see a lot more of them before we see less of them and trust me we all want to see less of both of them i don't care about i don't care about papa i don't care about i definitely don't care about shitley um, so there are quite a few people who are curious to see if Whitley plays, plays a role. I'm, I'm, so, I'm pers- personally, I'm curious to see if Whitley pulls like the somewhat tropey, like the son, like double crosses the dad with oh, some deal thing. Malfoy. Yeah, pulls a Malfoy. <laughs> but like, but Malfoy ended up being good. Whitley, I think, is just going to be a shithead. The oh, whole so way. you think Pop is going to turn and yeah. she's going to save him? And, and, and oh, st- definitely. That's, that's what I think is, is Whitley's going to betray his father and be like, mm, no, I'm going to you know let's do def- something for Salem or go or do something with um, Watts and you know but betray Jacques. Somehow yeah, I think I think it's I think it's going to be more uh, not like, if they're going if if Whitley's going to be uh, some kind of major role. That's what I think would happen. I personally. don't my. I'm a, I'm of the same mind of you. I think Whitley is going to stay evil. I don't think he's going to turn good. But he's not going to. I don't think he's going win. to join. No. <laughs> no, he'll get he'll get double you know triple crossed right. or whatever. I don't think he's going to join Salem though. Like I think his motivation is going to come from like the love. I probably well, like the the proud lineage of the Schnee line. Maybe I think he's just going to be manipulated by Watts. Yes. No. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like he's not none of but. Sorry. So this is a detail. I think he's going like he'd commit the same acts either way. What yeah, we're yeah. talking about, I'm discussing the motivation behind. Oh, uh, gotcha. I don't think like if he knew that it was Salem at the strings, he wouldn't do shit. But I think he can be manipulated by like, you know, it's what? all it's all for the family. It's all for the city. It's all for the power of Atlas. Or like oh, yeah. he was also power hungry when we were talking about it. I think he, that's true. I think he dissed his father a couple times too. Um. I could be wrong. Again, comments will tell me. I don't me. remember him dissing his father. He was pro father. He was like sort of at his heels in a way. Oh, well, I, I thought it, I I think I'm misremembering. But what I'm what I am misremembering is uh, him being like old father doesn't know what he's doing with his money. No, I could. No, he didn't say anything like okay, that. Yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, he was definitely he agreed with everything that that his father was saying in terms of a huntsman and dust and. Class and yeah, everything. I could. I could just also just see sucking, him being sucking like, at that teat of just well, false information that is Jacques is giving. Yeah, yeah. well, I could just. I could see him being like, "My father is good, but I could do better." Yeah, like, that, I could. That's I, what, that's I could see the po- the yeah. power hungry wanting to. And the, Watts seeing that and feeding on it and using yeah. it to manipulate him, and then Jacques maybe not doing something and really like, "Fuck you, I'm going to do it anyways." Mm-hmm. So I, I'm not super worried about Ironwood um, and his motivation. He's very paranoid right now. I don't yes, know. but we also saw him in the ending uh, squad shot at the end of the opening. He was in the center of it. Now, true. This is this is anime theorizing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's this true. Is, this is this is coming from the perspective of anime. But like All Might is in the center of the of the class one A. Whenever they do a full that's scramble, true. whenever whenever they do a full setup in an opening. Kakashi is standing over his kids whenever there's a full spread. Oh, yeah. It's the placement of the character. I think we'll have character issues with him. Oh, yeah. But I'm very convinced, for better or for worse, just based on where he's placed when the entire, all of the protagonists are all next Mm. to each other, Ironwood is in the thick of it. So I expect, like, I'm not expecting a Lionheart situation. No, me either. But, uh, I, I... But I, his paranoia is going to cause more problems before. Oh yeah, absolutely. Worse before better, as we always do. But like, I, I don't. I'm the question for me is: Will it take the whole season, or will it take like the first half of the season for him to come round? And the, so part of part of why, why we thought he was he might be paranoid. Uh, if you notice at the end of the opening, when it say created by Monty Um, did you see the little flash of the little item? No. The spear that, that kind of had a light. Yes, I did. Yes, That's I was did. one of the relics. Oh, and, is it now? And we, we were well, we were speculating that it's the relic of creation. You know, sort of a little nod to mm. creator Monty. But uh, the relic at Mantle. How that might play a role in is this. Is the relic scene. at Atlas or at Mantle? Uh, one of the two. Right. Okay. Um, That's a fun theory. Yeah. Where's, where's the relic? Where's the relic? And... Something, I think, something, I think it was either Sterling or Jason, one of them, mentioned about 
Winter Sheen being the, uh, being potentially being a maiden, like uh, like she could, she uh, definitely and, and could having an Ironwood having the, you know keeping that information from mm-hmm. uh, from Crow. Yeah, I could see it. Or having her recently become while there, while this communication is down That's because possible. because as far, Iron, Ironwood knows. And, but as far as Ironwood, but also but also as far as Ironwood knows, Ospin is dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has no idea that Ospin is inside Oscar with them. So he'd be taking matters into his yeah. own hands. That fits completely. And he's just saying how uh, if Ospin reemerges, how it goes. Because Oscar was in charge of that whole fight. That was on Ospin. That was Oscar. That whole fight. Ospin yes, didn't yes, take yeah, over. yes, he was. I so was very happy to see that. how Ospin maybe comes back. Will be it's oh yeah it is when they confront Ironwood. Ozpin has been officially dormant for most of season six, like mm-hmm. gone mm-hmm. Since, since the lore episode, pretty much, save that one instance. Yeah, where he helped helped them land the plane, but that was it. Um, yeah, I like the idea of Winter Schnee being a maiden. That sounds like fun. I'd be okay with that. I know. Again, I'm also convinced that Winter Schnee is good, and like Schnee of of. Of all the characters who we already know who appear to be in question, Ironwood, Papa Schnee, Winter, Whitley, I think Winter's going to be the first one to turn. Well, I, I turn pers- towards good, like toward the- good. Yeah, I don't, okay. I don't think Winter's on the bad side at all. Again, this is also super hypothesizing from anime knowledge from the opening. Yeah, they had Papa and Whitley, and then they had Weiss and Winter. Mm, true. That's easy enough. Also, Winter's like Winter smiled. Mm. in the open she did smile like so like papa and whitley were grimacing and they had their little side thing weiss looked unsure and winter showed up and then she crossed her arms and smiled so like i'm i'm not worried a literal change of face i'm not worried about winter at all i'm really not worried about ironwood at the end of the day those two are either going to die heroically or they're but they're still good like i they'll be fine i'm I'm interested to see what Watts... I'm excited for Watts. I haven't seen him fight. I want to see him fight. Yeah. They might keep him as a scientist character and just not... Like, he'll just be the brains, but I don't want that. So I'm going to use that as a transition to Aesop's. New group of people. Five characters. If you tell in the intro, they had their own color scheme oh, and their own introduction. I, I just call them the SEAL team. Because <laughs> uh, they are. That's what they are. And the, the leader... Yes. I forgot his name. Uh, is in the credits. With uh, the horseshoe. He also, in the intro, grabbed a clover, and his color was green. I didn't see him grab the... I saw him grab, I just didn't see what he grabbed. Yeah, his name... I forgot what his name was in the thing, uh, but it's a, it's a, it dealing with luck. luck? Yeah. yeah. It's a whole... It's a luck thing. So he's Crow's opposite. That's what we're thinking. Is I was going to say, that's he's, easy. He's, the, he's the, the, the foil to Crow's thing. It was also... It's, it's That theory is made stronger by the fact that when... The ops were rounding everybody up. The one who was interacting with Crow was the leader. Yes. So that would be great. And why they were able to get everyone so quickly and easily is that they had the good luck more active than the bad luck. I wonder. Potentially. But the thing is, right? Are the other thing we 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 talked about was because you you because in the intro you see the team and then it immediately goes to Watts's face and he smirks and starts typing. Yeah. So the thought is. What if Watts has been feeding them bad intel? The ops? Yeah, to control oh, them out in a way. That one surprised under, me at all. Underneath uh, Ironwood. So that's sort of like, oh, that's, yeah. that's how the, the sort of ties back into Watts of like, he's going to play a more important mm-hmm. role now since he's been sort of, because he's, he's the reason that Ironwood might be more paranoid because oh, yeah. oh, Watts is the one that broke the code and made, and did all those things that yeah. PHO was talking about. I was like, oh, it's Watts, 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 Watts. Yeah, easy. Um... So seeing how they, you know, how they react to potentially being manipulated and where, where they go, or if they're just loyal to Atlas regardless, or... We're definitely going to get some tasty fights between those two, I But hope. there's five of them on the team, not four, which was interesting. Yes. if Because everything's been in fours. Yes, it's all undone in but fours. But they are five. Fun. I wonder if they're going to make it as easy as that the fifth person is like the mole. Hmm. That's 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 like low hanging fruit, but it's a possibility. Yeah, we, well, we haven't been introduced to any of the characters. Of course, yet. of course. Um, I mean, so that immediately leads up to like, are we going to get like an exposing Watts scene? Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, are we going to get some nice like one on one fights with, or like one on two fights with like uh, protagonist versus spec ops? Um, well, yeah, because that would be what seven on five. That's, that's a more fair battle. You have like well, team, I mean, team Ruby and well, like add Crow, and make it eight. Junior, <laughs> whatever. Add what Crow you and Oscar, you have nine. Um, add somebody else, you have ten. I could see one on twos. Mm. 
That's true. I also could see like the spec ops or the ace ops, since someone's going to try to co correct me on that. Uh, ace ops, um, yeah. I'm going to call them spec ops because nobody cares, and it's not the hill to die on. Um, <laughs> okay. Since the sp I could see the spec ops being good enough to where they could take on two huntsmen at, at a at a time. Potentially. So I, I wonder if that number is going to be plot significance or just like uh, just fighting a, balance. It was just an interesting thing that we noticed that yeah. everything else is in fours. in fours and suddenly have a five. So I'm unsure the significance of that. Yeah. Um, but how about the new outfits? Oh my god, they're so tasty. You see uh, so Nora tasty. got a haircut and Jean got a haircut? I didn't see Nora actually. Nora I got know. a haircut and her, and her outfit changed too. She got, they all, they're all getting shorter oh, I, hair. I, I know everyone. <laughs> they're all getting shorter hair. Except for Weiss, who has a long, giant, yeah. like, ultra braid. Well, I, it's, you gotta, you gotta. Yang, of course, didn't cut her hair, It's obviously. fun to mix it up. <laughs> yeah, but we got some fire. Yeah, We got some, true. like, fire fire. Finally, finally not, getting not that, some, that, that not strawberry some... sunrise is finally, kind of, finally going out. That's what it's supposed to go. Not, not, not the, not just the glow, like, actual flames. Yeah. That's some super saiyan and then some. Um, when, so, uh, on Twitter, Bruce, I don't know, I don't know if you have seen that yet, uh, but in the intro, Jean was, you know, with his new haircut and everything, and he fights the one Grimm, and mm. he has the shield move, and he slices up on the head. Mm. I can't remember who it was, it was Bruce or someone else noticed, and they put it, put it back to back. That's a, that's a, Pira move? that's a cut for cut scene from when Jean was fighting a Grimm, and Pira grabbed, used her summons to get his, his shield, and yeah. have him move up and slice up. It's shot for shot the same. You know, and with that, it's worth it to say that the only sword and shield person in this series were those two. Yep. And since Pyrrha died, it would make a lot... I have, not, I have not once thought about this for some reason until now. It would make a lot of sense. It would make perfect sense if, like, Jean's character ladder, like, if his ladder was all the way up to just being as good as Pyrrha. Like, Jean becomes the same level of warrior the with the same skills and the same weapons as Pyrrha. The sort of, the sort of like, ultimate sword and shield within that. He's the only one still at, at, in any of the groups, any of the teams, to be sword and shield that I've seen. I haven't seen anyone yeah. else with sword and shield. Yeah. Period. So, it's... I like that. I like that hypothesis. I hope that comes true, because that would be a lot of fun. Um... I don't have much to say about the new outfits. Like, they're super cool, and I want to see it, like, in episode. Yeah. Before I, uh, I mean, I don't have much to say. Um, I also don't remember them super well. Okay. Uh, but we'll, as, as I think of things to say about them, <laughs> I'll say them. All right. Uh. Any other last minute things? Pietro, that... man's a little Atlas. Oh, yeah, Pietro. Pietro. Pietro's nice. That makes me happy. Uh, Old Man Rivers is not, is an easy joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a very easy joke. Sterling was talking about how he's, like, the foil to, like, his granddad from Boondocks is like that kind of grandfather. Oh, yeah. And Pietro is like the other current kind of, yes. kind of grandfather. Yes. The loving kind. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can't think of anything else no. significant that we discussed that you would... But I, I wanted to make my opinions well known about like the characters we haven't seen and how they're going to mm -hmm. align themselves. Yeah, Ironwood and Winter are going to be fine. Everybody else is kind of up in the air. We have Penny. We have Penny. We have Penny. And you got you made my ear almost ring. You were so loud. Good. Good. <laughs> I don't care what flack I would have received. I was just watching you in the camera, just it, like watching your face, just go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it might have it might have been better um, that I didn't film with Bruce and everybody else because I would not have dropped volume if I was around those folks at all. I don't care what reparations reprimands I would have got. You would have heard me scream. Scream! You just screamed in here. Yeah, which okay. is fine. Well, there's only one of you. You did that, and I watched our cat Nibbler like <laughs> ran away when you started doing that. So good job. That's episode one. That's ep yeah, ex right. Episode one. It's tasty. That's and really got, tasty. Like, thirteen more to go. I think there's thirteen or fourteen episodes in a season, so we got plenty. At least a dozen to go. So ugh, so good. Ready for this? I'm not used to having to wait a week. <laughs> I am. So I'll be fine. I know. I've metered this. I've well, with this show, like it's been like fair because I've gone back through and rewatched it so That's much. But it's... As a seasoned anime veteran, I have re I have fucking yeah, you're used seasoned to it. my nonsense. Yeah. So. So. All right. Well, I guess that's it for uh, for the redheads. The first thoughts. Yeah. yeah that's, that's episode one for us. Matthew the Lel. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we'll see. Uh, you're joining us on Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, then I'm, we'll have I'm back. we'll have the whole crew, all six of us, on Sunday. 
uh, for the episode two. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys at that, uh, then. And have, That's all. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you later. Right. Bye. -bye. Bye.